Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj, and welcome to Breath Edge, which is a space survival game about a man and his chicken. <laughs> That's absolutely right. A man and his chicken. So this guy here, this is the man with his beard and his face and his eyes, and he has a chicken and he's in space. I don't know why he has a chicken. Where does he get the chicken from? I have no idea, but I'm very intrigued to find out. So as you can probably gather from the fact that it is a space survival game featuring a chicken, a space chicken no less, uh, it's a very silly game. You can probably take that from the chicken. It's a very silly game. It's got lots of lighthearted moments in. It's got a bit of slapstick. It is not afraid to take the mick out of itself and the space genre. And I thought all those things were a nice recipe for a fun little game. So that's why we're having a look at this now. It's on Steam. It's in early access. And they've only got the first chapter on at the moment. In fact, version fans gather around. It's version 0.9.1.13. Yay, good version. Classic vintage. So uh, yes, it's on Steam. If you want to go and have a look, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below. Before we kick off Breath Edge, I just want to say a big, big thank you to Community Cannibal over on the Geek Cup Discord because he gifted me this game. So that is very, very kind of you. In between eating people, he found the time to muster up some of the cash monies and give this to me via Steam. So that is very kind. So thank you very much, Community Cannibal. Please stop eating people. That would be excellent. And in honour of him, because he requested it, because, you know, he bought me the game so he can make a request or two. The chicken, when we meet the chicken, I don't quite know how we get hands on the chicken, but when we meet the chicken, we're going to call the chicken RJ. I assume that is Community Cannibal's real initials, I'm going to guess. So yeah, RJ the chicken and whatever his name is. I don't know if we find his name out, but there we go. So we're going to have RJ the chicken. So enough waffly waffly, let's play some Breath Edge. Okay, there are a few modes to play on, but I assume because we're in early access mode, they are not available. So we're going to be playing on standard mode, but it looks like there's going to be a story mode. Emphasis on storyline, infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Impossible mode, which sounds tremendous. It says no point wasting your time with this one. And free mode, so everything's available, storyline's disabled. That's kind of just sandbox mode. Uh, we're going to be playing on standard mode because that's all we've got available. We're calling it Pendrun. Let's go. Oh, okay, right. I've got hands... Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, I've got space hands from the creators of The Matrix. There's been no news lately. <laughs> Indeed there hasn't. Very good. 22 awards. Some other game received. <laughs> Search for this font. Search for this font took up half the development time. <laughs> okay. Director isn't needed here at all. Oh, I think that's harsh. I think you need a director. Oh, hello. Weird coffin animated people with spaceships on them. Oh, right, okay. The Redrin Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay censorship or no let him smoke. Oh no, censor it. We, I know that's a cigarette. What does it turn into if we censor it? What is it going to be? It's like a screwdriver or something. A carrot. <laughs> okay. So he's smoking a carrot. Right, okay. Oh. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Uh, okay. R2-D3. Okay, so remind him R2-D3. Ow! He just hit me with a thing! R2-D3. You swine. You've got a carrot on you. Tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm. Put on a defined expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. I have no options but to spit in his face. I don't condone this. Spitting in people's faces is bad, kids. Don't do it. But I'm going to do that. Because he's a bad, presumably a killer robot of some sort. <laughs> he's got a little windscreen wiper. Stop hitting me with a big stick, R2-D3. You meanie. You tell us all from the beginning, or oh, violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I don't know what you're talking about. Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You better tell your story first. You can still have your defiant expression. Okay, well, if I spit on him again, I'm just going to get whacked with that stick with the big pointy stick with loads of tape on it. And that sounds like not a fun evening. So, yeah, I'll tell you whatever the story is. Ooh, space, year 2073, somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. That's quite far away. Okay, it looks bleak. Oh, it looks less bleak. There's a big shiny ship. Hello, shiny ship. The interstellar liner unnamed. <laughs> okay, your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. Okay. <laughs> It's a little advertising space there. Okay. Da, 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 da. That was very reminiscent of the start of uh, the old Red Dwarf series. Uh, okay, there's the chicken. There's RJ the chicken. 
There's some old guy. Now, I believe from what I read in the storm, uh, the storm, not the storm, the steam description thing is that you're going to a funeral of your granddad. I assume that's granddad. Green universe broccoli attack. What? Should I have read what was on the newspaper? Possibly shouldn't. Okay, things aren't going well. Yep, yeah, that's, that's, oh, oh no. Oh no, granddad. <laughs> oh dear, granddad and his space coffin have gone out the window. Oh dear, oh. We've crashed into a rock. Oh, oh dear. That's going to be one heck of an insurance job right there. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any witnesses? Can we get any witnesses to this? Because, you know, no one's going to believe that. Oh, the ship just exploded. Yeah, that's that's going to cause some uh, some issues. Chapter one, lost in space. Okay. So the ship I was on blew up and I am lost in space. And I just kind of slid out the sun. Ow. Well, what, what? You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie, confirm. Continue your definitely unembellished story. Oh, was that me lying? <laughs> okay, right. Now let's tell the true story. Green Universe broccoli attack again. Um, so I put the newspaper down. And, oh, okay, right. Well, there we go then. I imagine the game is beginning in earnest. Oh, okay. I've woken up and uh, there, there's the chicken. So there's RJ the chicken. Hello, RJ. Uh, okay, right. Uh, tab, uh, I'm your funerary spaces built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Confirm you're still able to read after the impact. Uh, yes, I can read. So there's the controls. That's very good. I can fly, which is jolly exciting. And tab is general kind of go into your inventory and look at other stuff. Okay, everything else looks pretty much the same. Alt is stabilization. Must remember that. I'm in space. Uh, okay. Can't seem to move. Yes. Ah, splendid. You've gone into a non-standard situation. The Breathage Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Okay, right. Now, I did read a few comments on the uh, Steam page that said, Oh, the suit talks very, very quickly. Um, okay. Well, there's a gas leak just there. I'm going to fly toward it in my spacesuit. Unplug the gas leak. Oh, hang on. Right click. Plug. Plug the gas leak with the chicken. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. That has not worked. That has not worked because the chicken has uh, exit holes. So all I'm doing is gassing a chicken. Uh, okay, I might take the chicken. Um, okay, right. I need to... Ah, chewing gum. Right, what's out the window? What is out the window? Oh, yeah, that's the exploded ship that we were just on. I assume we're going to have to go and fly around and look at all this. There's, there's a body there. There's a body or a spacesuit. There's somebody else there. I was not on my own on that big old ship. Okay, right. Where did that, um, where did the chewing gum go? There it is. Right, take the gum. Okay. Uh, right, so tab is inventory. Ooh, what's that? Hang on, can I get that? Can I get that? Shears required. Oh, okay, right, so I need some shears. I'm not very good at zero gravity on this. Right, uh, tab is inventory. Okay. Uh, right, do that and put it into slot one, I assume. Yay, right, okay. Do that and now plug the leak with the chewing gum. Yes. Survivor! Okay, so I'm through. Find the interphone or get depressed. <laughs> okay, so the uh, suit is telling us to uh, call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, am I am I walking now? Right, there is gravity. There is gravity. So I'm in a suit, but there is at least some level of gravity. Okay, was this where I was before? Yes, I was sat just here, wasn't I? I was sat there... Grandad was propped up just there, and and then everything went out there when it broke. Okay, so what 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 is there to do now then? What's the goal? What what was it? Fix a spacesuit or find the intercom of some description. Okay, well that that's the interphone. What else is there around? Examine beer. Oh yes, I'll take a beer. Absolutely yes. Let's take a beer. The cheapest swill drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows from what waste this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, this beer is distinguished by a pleasant malt taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. I wouldn't know what fresh porcupine dung tastes like, but uh, smells like even. But okay, we'll take that. Have one of those. Examine physics in 50 volumes. That's probably useful. I say the one who reads all 50 books will become the person who reads all these books. Yes, indeed, they will. Uh, right, okay, there's, there's various other things. A back scratcher. That's got to be useful. That's a blueprint. Okay, that's fabric. Oh, there's loads of, like, junk items. That's rubber. Uh, that's a bed. So we can rest on the slightly stained bed. 
That is a burdock scan. Okay, we need a scanner, do we? Okie doke. Uh, that's a book. Can we take the book? It's right. It's a book. It has pages inside. Letters and numbers on the pages. It also has crumpled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It smells like a book, looks like a book, and tastes no different from a book. Again, don't know what a book tastes like, but okie doke. Uh, oh, there's all sorts of things. A processor. Uh, what does that do? That's a blueprint. A drill blueprint. That's got to be a useful thing. Grandpa's garage is full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if I had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. Well, let's take blueprints. Absolutely. Let's take blueprints. Uh, there's lots of pictures. Don't know if I want to take them. That's that's fabric, so we'll take that. That's a bit of fabric. Uh, no suitable items. Uh, I just want to open the door. Unless I need to make a crowbar of some description. Uh, oh! Ah, the space toilet. Okay. So it's operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Okay. What did that do? What was that? There was a button there. Examine Grandpa's picture. I assume that's gone a little bit weird. But okay, early access and all that kind of stuff. Right, I can't pick up the first aid kit. I need to make myself a scanner of some sort. Right, well, let's examine Grandpa's picture. One of the last photos of Grandpa, who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here, and I couldn't help putting this photo in a frame. So it's his chicken. So RJ is his chicken. Chickulbel. Chick Chickubelch. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label. They always denied it and wrinkled his face when choking on this rubbish. And you know what? Crap is fine. Choking on this crap. That's a fine word to say. Uh, okay. Pick up bottles. Take alcohol. A blueprint for alcohol. Um, okay. Uh, ooh, so, ooh, ooh, now. A survival guide. Now you are talking. I will absolutely have one of those. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, the situation is somehow strangely similar to mine. There's even the chicken there. Uh, okay, so that turns it over. So, uh, okay, for those of you who are watching who are uh, under a certain age, this is a VHS cassette that you would put into a, uh, a VCR and play. Yes, it's a tape. It's like streaming, but like solid and with actual tape inside this box. So, uh, okay, well, I'm going to take that. Because there's a thing here where I might be able to play it. Yes, because there's a thing that says no video cassette. So can I insert the video cassette? Okay. Um, videotapes. Do I, did I not pick up the videotape? Thought I'd picked up the videotape there. Fitness ads. Ah, is it ads? Survival guide. Okay, insert that. Okay, Breath Edge Survival Guide. Let's sit back and watch this. To pee or not to pee? Um... Okay. Space. So dangerous. So unpredictable. Just like your bladder. Okay, yes, I might need the to... What's that sticking out of the toilet? In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment in the most, uh, the most inopportune moment. Okay, this is wrong. <laughs> Tip two. Try to keep it all in. Thoughtless waste of resources can lead to death. Um, okay. That's, that's me being electrocuted, right? Tip three. Explore the environment... Uh, in search of AIDS or something, right? Okay, so explore. Yep, gotcha. Do some exploring to, to, to build things. That's fine. Ooh, we'll have to go out into the scary space wilderness. Okay, right. There's another toilet. Stop going to toilets. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. He was having a little whittle there. Okay, collect any valuable items, but be extremely cautious. Okie doke. Will be. There's more people. There are people. Use the chicken. Yeah, okay. So I don't want to get electrocuted. Getting electrocuted is generally bad. Gotcha. Understand that. Let the chicken get electrocuted. And then I can, <laughs> and then I can just get my hands on things. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself in an inventive way. I think it might have said there. Okay, so there's a whole other gigantic area of spaceship around. And get to fix the toilet. Okay, it, I mean, there's a lot of toilet going on. There's a significant amount of toilet and... And, and weeing happening. The end. Well, that was fascinating. Thanks, Grandpa. Is there a little bit at the end? Is there a little bit at the end? No. I thought there might have been a bit at the end, like, um, yeah, let's remove the videotape. Like, you know, in the Avengers when they have the uh, end sort of credit things. Um, okay. I need to find something to eat and drink. 
Because I haven't eaten drink meter in the bottom left, and I need to do something with that. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this first. Let's use the interphone, because that... Oh, what's that note say? Don't forget to feed the chicken. Oh, okay. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> uh, let's do this first. Oh, hang on. Home phone number. 2U313BA3. I'm going to remember that, have I? Um, okay, I hope no phone number. I can't reach it, of course, and there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Uh, okay, let's leave that where it is. Uh, let's use the interphone and press buttons and, <laughs> and and then hit it as it works. To adjust the antenna, antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. I don't want to go into outer space. It sounds scary. I want to open the door. How can I open the door? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it if there was something to eat or drink. Right, what's this? I haven't looked at this yet. Use the processor. Uh, what does that do? So can I turn that into... Like, can I? What do I do with this? How does this work in any way, shape or form? What do I do? Add things? Equipment. Ah, okay. Okay, so I can make things. So an enhanced spacesuit. A drill blueprint. Can I throw that in? Because that seems like the kind of thing. Common resources. Rubber times two. Ah, so what do we do? Just drop things on, do we? Just throw things in? Okay. We'll have to come back and look at that a bit later. Composite resources. Common resources is fabric and tape. And equipment is an enhanced spacesuit, which would be useful. But I need lots of stuff that I haven't got. And a helmet, which presumably goes with the advanced spacesuit. Okay. But the minute I can't make food or water. Okay, so I need to find some food or water. Well, I've got some drink. I mean, I could, in theory... I can, in theory, drink some, some beer. How do I go about drinking stuff? Ah, do I just... Right, okay. In, in, in inventory, maybe. Put in inventory? No. Not that. Okay. Okay, it's not as straightforward to eat and drink things as I thought it might be. Oh, I wonder if they're empty. I wonder if they are empty. Because the alcohol here, I can drink. It will reduce my thirst by 10, but give me a bit of a temperature, because I'm drinking a bottle of alcohol. And it will make me a bit drunk, which you might expect, because alcohol. So, um... Yeah, what do, I don't really know what to do with the rest of this stuff. So yeah, the next thing is check the antenna. Let's go and do that. Let's go and check the antenna. So we're going to head this way and go yay. And then, and now, and now we're in space. Okay, a source of increased radiation has been detected. Where is the antenna? It is presumably attached to this little ship I'm on. Let's go swimming. It looks very pretty. It looks very lovely. I kind of noticing this weird... Uh, I'm going to say alien. I don't really know, but alien goo of some description. Blue alien slime. Okay, let's go and check the antenna. Oh, hello. What's that? Can, can, we, can we get some of that resource? Uh, oh, 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 right. Okay, hang on, hang on. So that's up. Right, okay. Uh, oxygen is not... Oh, oh, right, okay. Yes, oxygen is not unlimited. I should possibly go back inside and stop dithering around in space because I might suffocate to death. Right, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's top up my oxygen, which is in that little breathe thing, and let's go back and have a look at the antenna. Okay, there it is. Right, adjust the antenna. I adjusted it carefully by whacking it with my hand. Okay, I need to go and do this. So I need some special equipment, it's telling me, and some interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel. Ah, right, the steering wheel is out the front. So if I just top up on oxygen very quickly. There we go. Now I can go back this way. The steering wheel I saw over here it was this way. I think that's the steering wheel. So there we go. I need to connect the steering wheel, create a debugging station. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. I need to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's really easy to do, because I don't know what you're talking about. So my current job is to create a debugging station. Do I do that via this? Is that how one creates a debugging station? Is that an object? A station. Uh, okay, so I can't seem to craft a debugging station. Do I need to find one from somewhere else? I mean, there are little target things. There's little target things. Let's go back out here and see what that's telling me to do. So if I go here and have a little fly about, there's something over there. What's that? What's that telling me? Is there a debugging station or something on this side? Like, do I need to go over here to investigate the debugging station? Is it inside? 
Oh, hang on. It might already be in there. Okay. Oh, ooh, that could be useful. Please have food in it. Please have break. I need a handy scrapper. What on earth is a handy scrapper? There's lots of little crates of things floating about. I think I need to pick some of those up. Um, okay. So there's the thing here that says 11, 6 meters. Yeah, so it's this here. It's this here. I just don't know how to use it to create one of the things that I'm supposed to. Ah, there's a cryptographic debugging station just there. It's under tools. Okay, so can I, like, how do I, how do I build one of those then? So insufficient resources. I need metal, two lots of metal, and some wire. Okay, I've got a drill blueprint just there as well, but I can't do that either. So where do I get metal and wire from? I'm not entirely sure. I may have to drink this alcohol at some point. I may have to drink it, although I can't work out how to do that either. Uh, that might be because I'm in a build, so a construction -y menu. But yeah, my um my drink level is coming down to 32. And that's a bit lower than I'd like. So yeah, metal and wire. Okay, um, let's go back to... Right, can we equip him with that thing? That grabbery thing? Can we equip him with anything? Not entirely straightforward if we can. That's a helmet. That's a suit. That's some sort of oxygen tank. That, I don't know what that is. And that, I don't know what that is either. Okay, come out of that. Go into our actual inventory. Can I put things in my hands in there? Okay, so I've got a back scratcher. Uh, an excellent tool for grabbing other things. I've got a bit of rubber. So now if I go back into the nowhere, out into space... What can I do? Can I go and grab things with that grabber? Can I do that? Is that something I can do? Because I can't seem to smash things open. So let's go and do that. There was a, there was, but look, there's a box just there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Grab, grab that. Try and break it. Break. I need a handy scrapper. What does that mean? What is a handy scrapper? Can I have that? Can I take the nutritious goo? Oh, nutritious goo sounds like a very good thing to get my hands on. Hang on, this could be food. This is an equivalent of food and drink. Okay, well, at least that's one thing we've got. So that might give me the chance to, you know, top up on food and drink and then work out what a handy scrapper might be. Okay, the nutritious goo needed ice. So, yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, bottles of water. Right, okay, so there's lots of little ice sort of crystals floating about. So the goo will make food mixed with a bit of this water because I've got to sort of hydrate it, I imagine, is the kind of plan. So that's priority number one, really, is get food so I don't starve to death and get water so I don't die of thirst. Because otherwise, this is going to be a very short game and my water level is very low. I don't really like it being that low. So let's go just go and grab all of these. Oxygen. Yes, I know. I'm near the door. Don't fret. Right, let's go in here like so. And now we can go to this. Use that. Ah, we can make a nutrition package. So let's make one of those. Lovely. Okay, right, we've got one of those. So now how does one eat one of those? I don't know. And let's make ourselves a bottle of water. Yes, okay, good. So that's done that. I think it would not be a bad idea to make a couple of bottles of water. In fact, you know what? Let's make three bottles of water and then a couple of these food package thingamabobs. So we'll have that. That uses up the last of our ice. That's fine. Now I've got to figure out how to actually eat the stuff. <laughs> so now, how do I eat? Do I remove it from... Take that out. Do I put it into the slot? No. Ah, just left click. So if I eat a nutrition package... Ah, lovely. And drink a bottle of water. Plus 30. Plus 30. Okay, right. That's that sorted at least. So now I've got to go back out and get... What was it? What did I need to build? An object? A station? Um... I, oh, I thought it was in there. I thought the thing was in there. Stations. I thought it was in there. Oh, no, no, no. It's tools, isn't it? Cryptographic debugging station isn't under the stations tab. But okay, that's fine. So metal and a wire. But we need a grabber. Is that what it said? Ah, I found some metal. Just found some bits of metal floating about. I mean, I'll grab all this stuff while I can. But yeah, there's the little, the tiny little dots. There's a bit up there, look. So I'll have a bit of that. That's metal just there. What I could do with is, I could do with an extra oxygen tank. That would not go amiss. Grab some water while I'm going by. Oh, the air is so huge. It is a huge space that we're in. Wow. Um, okay. Need to go back to the ship. Get some more oxygen. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to get myself a better oxygen tank. That's what I need. Right, nip into here. 
Let's go back and have a look at the crafty table. Crafty crafts. Let's have a look what I can do now. So resources. Roll of fabric, thick electrical tape, refined metal. Ah, so I need four, uh, four of these metal sort of chunks to make one sheet of refined metal. What did I need to make this thing? Equipment, tools, metal times two. Ah, which I do have. I need to find myself some wire. Uh, okay, so either I can craft wire, which I don't imagine I can do unless I'm missing some sort of blueprint somewhere around the place, or... Um, yeah, I need to go and find a bit of wire floating about in space. Okay, well, there we go. The quest for wire is on. Okay, there's some things here that say electricity. Uh, I'm trying to do the, put the chicken in on it, but it's quite hard because I'm floating around in space. Is that giving me wire? Right, let's go back to the ship and have a little look. And a lot of the other things do say, yes, you need a handy grabber tool to go and grab things and smash things and kind of stuff. So, let's go and have a look. So, did that give me... Any kind of wire at all. It gave me ice and metal and nothing else. Oh, good. Oh, I unlocked an achievement about an electric chicken. That's fun. But, um, yeah, I can't find wires. I really am struggling for wires. I don't know where things are. I mean, there's a radio just there. But, yeah, I can't break it because I need a handy scrapper. A handy scrapper. Is that a thing I can build then? No. I haven't got the blueprint for it yet, I don't believe. I can't see a handy scrapper anywhere in there. So how do we go about getting wire? How are we going to go and get wire? I don't know, unless we dismantle something in here. Do we take something apart that's in this very room? Ah, okay, right. I've just grabbed a flashlight blueprint off of a corpse, which is nice. However, I might become a corpse myself very soon because I might well run out of oxygen. <laughs> Come on, can we get back? Go a little bit quicker. Go a bit quicker. Come on, hold your breath. Just hold your breath. It'll all be fine. I think we can get in. I think we can just about get in in time. Okay, yay. So, no wire. Still no wire. I don't know where it is. I don't think I can craft it. I think it's out here somewhere. So I'm just going to have to keep searching for bits of wire. I'll keep picking up little bits and bobs like this as we go. But yeah, I just need to find some wire. I mean, I imagine it's going to be on things like this that are just sticking out like that. So yeah, I can't extract that because that's plastic. So yeah, I just need to go and explore. I just need to try and find any points around this whole place where there might be some wire. Ah! After much exploring, I have found some. There's some. Right, okay, so it's coppery stuff, as you might expect, that's sticking out of broken wires. There was another bit over here, I think, as well. Yep, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Okay, so four bits of wire. We need to get back to our ship. Yes, I know. Oxygen is not unlimited. I need to put a bigger oxygen tank. You don't get much time for exploring. As beautiful and pretty as it all is, you don't get a lot of time to explore. So I'd like a better oxygen tank at some point. Right, so we'll do that now. And then the priority issue is to go in and have a drink and have some food. Because otherwise we are going to die of that. And that's definitely not going to be any good. Um, right, let's go to this thing. Right, do the stuff. Right, make us a food packet. Lovely. Thank you very much. And then make a couple of bottles of water if you can. Oh, there you go. Just one. Like so. And then make another food thing. You might as well. We've got one ice left. So let's do that. And then we might as well eat one of those if we can. Uh, oh, no. We can't do that now. Of course we can't because we're in the um, we're in the uh, crafty thing on the table. So let's have a look then. So now, yes, we've got a flashlight blueprint as well, which is good. So this was a tool. Cryptographic debugging station. Okay, make one of those, please. Using some bits of wire. I wouldn't know how to do that. That's just madness. Okay, so we've got one of those. Bind it to a slot. Let's just drop it down to slot number one. I then need to put that onto here, do I? So do that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that, that is a big pointy stick with wires and stuff sticking out of it. That is not what is advertised at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> okay, so I've got a big metal stick with wires sticking out of it. Uh, I'm now going to debug this by whacking it incredibly hard. Okay, call for help. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Tweak and complete. I'd love to do that at work. Just go, why isn't it working? Here's the pointy stick of digital correction. Right, okay, call for help. Somebody help. I'm in trouble. 
Uh, attention survivors, the rescue shuttle Hope uh, was sent for you from the nearest evacuation point. Due to slight engine malfunction, the rescuer's estimated time arrival is 4,369 years. Okay, you need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills to increase your level. You need to create some <laughs> crap imposed by the developers. Okay, so the developers are making me do some stuff. What exactly do you want me to do, developers? What's the, um, what's, what, oh, hang on, where's my, where's my list of, what, where's my tasks? Where's my things that I've got to do? There, create and put the crap imposed by the developers in your hands so we can tell you about a unique upgrade system in the game. Okay, <laughs> I've got to make a thing, have I? Where about, whereabouts is that then? Is it in tools? Uh, ah, a handy scrapper. I do need to go and get some more metal, but I can build one of those, and that thing gives us um gives us uh, ability so i'm distracted by someone contacting me babe incredible survived one i see your avatar online hello babe okay that's just weird it wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor communication only works on reception which gives good reason not to respond and not to be distracted despite the objections of the hormonal system <laughs> okay um stations ah crap imposed by the developers so we need some refined metal and some thick electrical tape Okay, so that's thick electrical tape, which is two lots of rubber. So we need to find another lot of rubber to make a bit of tape. And then I need, oh, loads and loads of metal. I need absolutely loads of metal. Okay, well, we know what the job is then. Find rubber and find loads of space metal. Gotcha. Oh, I found Grandpa's mug out in space. I found it just floating around outside the, uh, outside the shuttle. Okay, I'll take that. That's nice. Right, okay. Back to hunting for things like this. So, yeah, we're going to pick up water drops as well. And we'll pick up metal blobs because they're all over the place as well. So, yeah, let's just go and grab a load of these. Okay, I think what I need to do is I need to build one of these here handy scrappers. It was meant to be the most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. But all it really is, is a great big stick for bashing things with. So I think we make ourselves a great big stick for bashing things with. And then we can go out and bash things out in space and probably get more resources from them than just doing little, you know, picking up the tiny little blobs like this. We can go through and actually grab many things. So let's make ourselves one of those. Yay. That's good. And then we'll come out of that. We'll go into here. We shall put that down into slot number one. We shall also have ourselves a bit of food. Does that give us 25 food? Yeah, well, let's have that. And then let's have a couple of bottles of water whilst we are around the place. There we go. So we've topped up our sort of survival levels quite nicely. Okay, let's go out with the handy scrapper, the big bashy tool. And um, here we go. Well, let's smash this open then. Is that going to have is that going to have rubber in? No, that's metal. Metal plate. Okay, ah, and each time we hit it, the durability of this goes down. Okay, right. Well, that makes sense. Right, there was a radio floating around here somewhere. There was a radio. Where's that gone? There. That might have rubber in. So let's break that into bits. Oh, plastic. Oh, we'll take that. Absolutely. And a battery. Okay, useful, I suppose. Um, okay, what else is there? Let's try and find... I mean, yeah, we'll keep picking up these little bits of metal because they are useful. Probably need them to make more scrappers. Oh, possibly shouldn't suffocate to death either. Okay, this is a console. So let's smash that. Let's see if we can smash that apart. So that's a big sheet of metal. That is plastic. That is another battery. So that's all useful. It's all good stuff. Oh, is that some more wiring? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Extract some wiring. That's quite handy. So I am getting quite a lot of stuff. Oh, right, there's a container just there. Yeah, let's come back here. Let's smash that container open when I've topped up on oxygen. Yes, smash the container, smash the container. Um, oh, is that a different container to the one I was smashing before? It might be. Um, oh, okay, did nothing come out? Just that little battery. Is that it? Oh, okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Okay, there's a coffin. Do I want to open someone's coffin? I'm not entirely sure I do. Oh, was this, was this the one that I'd been breaking? Okay, let's smash that open then. And bosh. And it's got some stuff, but I don't think there's any rubber. Okay, the quest for rubber continues. Ah, is that giving me a hint as to where I can find resources? Because there's a thing down there which has 115 metres that way. Shall we try and head out there? Or is that going to be a complete red herring? Where has that got here? Let's go down here. This is quite a long way away. This is a very long way away. What am I on? 40 oxygen. 
Hopefully this will give us some sort of rubber. Is there rubber on the inside of this thing? Is there rubber on the surface? Oh, I'm very far away. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Something in here. Okay. How do I uh, open that? Break the door open. Ah, okay, right. I need to smash the door open. And my, my thing's broken. And I'm probably going to die now because I've got no oxygen. <laughs> I need to get back up there in not very many seconds. Okay, come on. Come on, man. Hold your breath. Just hold your breath. I'm going to start taking some damage now, aren't I? Because I'm going to start choking. Yeah, so my health is coming down. Ooh, your health goes down quite quickly. Okay, yes, I'm choking to death. Right, in I go, in I go, in I go, in I go. And oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, right. We nearly died a little bit. That's fine. Let's just top up our water and all is good. You've had a little bit of a little bit of oxygen that you so annoyingly need. Right, we need to put another scrappery thingy. Let's go and do that. Hang on, wasn't something, wasn't the spacesuit nattering on about the largest condom in the world? That's got to have some rubber on it, surely. Let's head toward, <laughs> let's head toward that. If I can find where it is. Yeah, it's down there. So let's go toward that. Um, I don't know if we can speed up. Can we speed up things? I don't know if we've got like a sort of a super speed thing on our suit or anything. Uh, okay, well, I mean, why? Just why? Why? Why is that there? Okay, an oxygen balloon. Oh, surely that's got rubber on it. Surely, come on. That's got rubber. An oxygen candle. That's got to be useful. Hang on, that's going to be... That's another oxygen candle thingy. That's useful. And also, wire is useful. Right, get back to our ship before I take any more damage from suffocating. Okay, I've been investigating the toilet. Because the thing here, there's an arrow. And it's pointing to the toilet. And I figured out that when you press fly, it must mean you undo your space flies, not you actually fly about. Because look, I can do... A bit of a bit of the Wii, and it fills that thing up, fabric. So they did say at the start that it was hoovering up random stuff, didn't it? It said it was hoovering up things, uh, and the toilet was working in reverse or something. So yeah, look, I just keep getting fabric out of it. I keep getting fabric. I'm, I, do I get rubber out of this? I mean, I've got loads and loads and loads of water. I found a, a stash of water, uh, more plastic, so I can look. I've got quite a bit of water, so I can drink a couple of bottles of water. I can have a food because I found some of that stuff and I've got loads and loads of other things but one thing I just don't have and I've got oxygen candles gives me extra bit of oxygen in fact oh that's quite useful that's actually quite useful but yeah I mean I, I just don't know where rubber is I just can't find it anywhere so I was hoping that by doing this which is a bit gross to be fair it needs a way better aim but um yeah then I was hoping that it might give me some rubber and it might pop out of the thing oh Oh, and as if by magic. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, that's tremendous. I can't even remember why I needed it now. What am I doing? Oh, I'm building the, 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 the crap that they want me to build module or something, am I? Um, that's an oxygen candle. Oh, where was it? Where was the thing they wanted me to build? Uh, I need a bit of that. That's it. I need a bit of thick electrical tape so I can build that, which is lovely. So that appears in the inventory. Right, okay, that's good. And then, uh, what was I building? I was putting this, so two refined metals. So yeah, so that's four metal, so that's fine. So we'll get that, and then another four metal is required, and we've got five. So there we go. So we've made the thing like that, and now we can go to object stations and make crap imposed by the developers. So just some random MacGuffin item thingamajigger that they just want us to have. Okay, so now let's put that in our inventory on number two you've completed the uni entire unique upgrade system oh yes 999,000 points whatever it was beautiful i've got the title of great creator okay um okay what, what what's going on with this i'm confused the electrical stimulation is complete brain activity judging by the result it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations however it was turning you still can get passive radiation but i will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation uh, okay, so I can either hit myself with this thing or I can install it. I'm going to install it. Um, th there? Just there. Yeah, it fell off. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, 
uh, right that was a thing that was a thing i did right let's let's just go in and have another quick bit of water lovely that's very nice and let's top up on food as well let's get hunger and drink back up to the top levels lovely um what what's our mission now what's our thing that it wants us to do um where is it what does it want us to do get to the evacuation point how how far away is the evacuation point oh that's what it said this is what it says okay that's useful the electrical simulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you're working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work, caused hallucinations, so it was entertaining. Okay, so it's marking the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. So where are the... So the rescuers are really far away over there. They are 1,600 metres away. I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to get that far because I'm going to die. I'm going to run out of oxygen and be dead. So what do I do now? Okay, so in summary of these messages, it says the arrival time exceeds the estimated lifespan by quite some time. I need to get the, to the extraction point myself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap. I did that. So I've now increased my level, I assume. You still can't get past the radiation. I'll mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. So do I just do I just fling myself at the thing? I want to pick this up. Can I take that, please? That might be a useful thing. Crap imposed by the developers. So I'm not entirely sure what to do now. I will admit I'm a little bit confused. One thing I did do, though, I found this lovely storage container. Look up here above the bed so i've put a load of stuff in in fact i can put this plastic in as well which is lovely chuckle that in as well so i put a load of stuff in there and what i'm going to do is i i'm just going to have a go at getting the 1600 meters of tone now there is an acceleration button which is left shift i believe which i don't think makes any difference at all so let's see if we can get anywhere near there i don't think we can even get anywhere near that look i think we're going to choke to death and die but it's very lovely out here it's very lovely indeed. Yeah, look, we're at 30 oxygen. We're nowhere near. We've gone not many metres. Even if I use my two oxygen top-up tank things, I still can't get anywhere near that. So now I need to head back again to the spaceship. Yeah, and look, my radiation in the bottom right is going up. So it's saying, keep away, stop. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'll admit I'm a bit confused. It's not entirely clear what we're supposed to do now. And I am a bit baffled. Well, do you know what? With that bafflement still present, I think it's a good point to stop here. But I am going to come back for another part of this. Now, I don't know if I've covered 1% of this or if I'm nearly at the end. I've no idea how far we are into this chapter. But I want to come back to this because I think it is quite interesting. I just wish I was a little bit more guidance, a little bit more sort of uh, hand-holding. When it's a bit like this, I'm I'm just sort of lost. I don't really know what I'm doing 100%. I'm just sort of wandering about doing what it tells me, which you know, is fine at points. And sometimes it's nice for a bit of a challenge. But I'm this is a bit much. It's a bit sort of, I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Like I want to get blueprints to build oxygen tanks and things. I want to build, ideally, one of those, an enhanced spacesuit. I want one of those. But I need a roll of fabric. I could probably make a roll of fabric. However, lead paint... I can't make lead paint and aluminium. I can't make that or aluminium or whatever you want to call it. So I can make a roll of fabric. That's fine. The other stuff I need to get sort of uh, blueprints for. And I don't know where to find them. And I haven't got a very big oxygen tank in order for me to actually go ahead and, you know, go and search for things very well. Because I, I, I can't go very far because my oxygen tank is too small. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of a little bit, I'm a little bit lost as to what do we do. Unless the whole idea is that I build loads of these oxygen candles and just fly through space toward that target thing. No, but then the radiation will kill me. The radiation will melt my face. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure what to do, really. I'm, I'm just sort of... Uh, just sort of winging it a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll come back. We'll have another look round. I'll hopefully be able to figure out what we need to do next time out. And then we'll see how the story goes of the man with no name. Let's call him guy because he's just some guy so guy and rj the chicken who to be fair hasn't featured that much but the two times we have featured are the rj the chicken uh we've stuck him in a pipe and forced gas through him and out in one end and out the other end and then we've jabbed him into an electrical conduit so um yeah we're not being very nice to rj the chicken but you know what he still survived somehow i don't know where he is 
I don't know where RJ the chicken is. Where do I keep him? Just in a pocket or something? I've got no idea. I don't know. But um, yes, so we'll come back. We shall have a look at what we can do next time out. I hope you have enjoyed this little first look at Breath Edge. And if you have, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in our adventures here in the middle of space. In this big old space explodey disaster survival adventure type thing. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. This is never going to end well if it's just me having to use my own wits and skill to survive. Beer! Drink! Can I just get leathered? That'll make me warm. Yes, like a drunk man trying to find his way to the bar. I don't know what I'm doing. I can play darts. 340! You've took on my monster munch. Where's all the monster munch? <laughs>